Hello everyone. In this talk, I will present our work about a generic framework for ABE with master key KVM security via the notion predicate encoding. This is a joint work with Jun Jinggong and Jie Chen. ABE stands for Attribute-Based Encryption, which is an advanced form of public key encryption. It consists of four PPT algorithms, set up, encrypt, key generate, and decrypt. The set up algorithm takes a Boolean predicate P associated with a descriptive domain X and Y, such as attribute X and policy Y and output a master key pair, master public key, and master secret key. Then, the encrypt algorithm encrypts the message M to value X under the master public key. And the key generation algorithm uses the master secret key to derive secret keys to value Y. In decryption algorithm, these secret keys have the ability to recover the message only if PXY equals to 1. That is, HBUX satisfies policy Y. For example, if X satisfies Y1, then the secret key can recover the message M. If X does not satisfy Y2, Y3, then the secret keys cannot obtain any information of the message M, even combining with other secret key in some way. In this work, we use the notion of predicate encoding. It is a singular description of ABE with a statistical one-time secret key security flavor. Typically, it consists of five linear algorithms over domains X, Y, and ZP. In last example, we can use SEXW to encode the encryption. Use KE Y alpha plus REYW to encode the key generation. And in the decryption, we can use SD and RD to recover alpha by the property of predicate encoding. Then we can obtain the message. Such predicate encodings are also known for several predicates, such as equality predicate in identity-based encryption, like LW10. That is, you can obtain the message only if x equals to y. And prefix equality predicate in hierarchical IBE, like BPG5. And arithmetic branching program in ABE like CGW15 and so on. In this talk, we will employ the first symbol predicate to illustrate our framework. In our framework, we study an appealing security, key dependent message security, or KVM security for short in the context of ABE. Namely, the message may depend on the secret key, but no information will be leaked. We describe the dependency by an affine function over the secret key. If the semantic security holds on when the message depends on the master secret key, we say it achieves must key KDM security 
or MKDM security for short. If the semantic security holds on when the message depends on the user security, we say a chip user key KDM security or UKDM security for short. In this work, we focus on the former security MKDM security. Formally, we describe MKDM security by the following game. At the beginning of the game, the challenger sets up the AB schema and publish the master public key to the adversary. Receive the master public key, the adversary can issue the key query repeatedly. On each key query with Y, the challenger generates key using the master secret key and gives it to the adversary. After that, the challenger picks a random bit B and the adversary issue multiple challengers. On each challenger with X and F, the challenger encrypts FMSK as CT0 and encrypts a random message M as CT1 and always returns CT B to the adversary. Then, the adversary can continue the key query and the challenger responds by running the key generation. In final, the adversary outputs a guess of B. At this point, we can give up the advantage of the adversary. If the advantage is negligible in the security parameter, then we say the schema achieves MKDM security. In this work, we propose a generic framework of MKDM security ABE under standard pairing-based assumption and support more complex policies than IBE which has never been reached since the first KTM Security IBE was proposed in GHB-12 and AP-12. In particular, we obtained the first HIBE schema with MKDM security for affine functions, and the first ABE for ABP with MKDM security for affine functions. Also, thanks to the expressiveness, that is, delegability like HIPE, we improve the security to CCA security by the classical CHK CPA to CCA transformation. In the context of IBE, our generic framework also gives us a new IBE schema with MKDM security. Our schema enjoys a constant size master public key and achieves adaptive and CCA security. In the following, we will employ this simple predicate, the equality predicate in IBE, to illustrate our framework. As a start point, we first we visit GGH20 schema, which is based on bilinear pairing over prime order groups. That is, the group description only contains two prime order groups, G1, G2, and relevant generator over G1, G2. Informally, for the ciphertext and the secret keys, lie in the span of basic bases of G1, G2 respectively, and their complements in each subspace play important roles in the proof. Looking ahead, they use these three bases A1, A2, A3 to simulate 
three subgroups, P1, P2, P3, of a composite of the groups. Under this basis, A1, A2, A3, Kark et al. give out this MKDM security IBE schema with tight security, but the must public key size is linear in the security parameter. In actual use, all the secret keys and ciphertext lie in P1 subgroup, which is of normal form. And in this schema, they show the clever combination of the KDM security PKE, as in DHH08, which is highlighted by solid boxes and a tightly secure IP, as in AHY15, GDCC16, which is highlighted by gray boxes. Following the type proof of the type IBE over multiple secret keys and several tags, one can extract the entropy of a P2 subgroup, highlighted by the dashed boxes. At this point, one can control the leakage of master secret key using the entropy, and then carry out the KDM argument for PKE from DHH08. However, to our best knowledge, there only exists tightly secure IBE in the multiple several text settings, and the type proof in the multiple several text setting strongly depends on the key and the several text structures. But we can see the KDM argument only relies on the entropy we introduced. So, we look back to the following warm-up schema presented in GGH20, also derived by the equality predicate encoding W plus IBE. As they reported, the schema is MKDM secure with respect to a five functions in a single several text setting by the dual system technical. Therefore, our strategy is to upgrade the proof to the multi several text setting without tight reduction. The typical dual system technical uses two main components one normal component of a P1 subgroup and one so-called semi-functional component of a P2 subgroup. More informally, one first turns the challenge ciphertext CP star from normal form to semi-functional form by the subgroup decision assumption. Then, performs a hybrid of the user secret keys from SK1 to SKQK with the help of the P3 subgroup. Since the underlying ID of SK1 is independent of the underlying ID of CP star by definition, one can first add the entropy to X1 of a P3 subgroup by a statistical argument, and then one can move it to P2 subgroup by the subgroup decision assumption again. In this way, one can change all secret keys to semi-functional form while keep the ciphertext unchanged. At this point, all the secret keys and the ciphertext are of the semi-functional form. As a result, the proof adds entropy to each key one by one. However, this only works on the single challenge ciphertext setting. To handle many challenge ciphertexts at the same time, as is needed in the context of KDM. 
we have to add one extra subgroup. Concretely, we need to use a list variant of the due system technical. In list due system technical, one first changes all challenger ciphertext from normal form to semi-functional form by the subgroup decision assumption. Then changes all keys into semi-functional form one by one, but employs another due system argument where the rules of ciphertext and keys are exchanged. As usual, one first changes challenger ciphertext and then changes the secret keys one by one. But at this point, one first changes one secret key into semi-functional. Then changes the challenger ciphertext into semi-functional one by one with the help of P4 subgroup. Next, move the entry to P2 subgroup. In this way, one finally changes all the secret keys and ciphertext into semi-functional form. However, this typical nested due system technical uses four subgroups and complicates the proof. In this work, we only use three subgroups as in GGH20. Concretely, we will rely on a variant of the nested due system argument, which exchanges the rows of ciphertext and keys at first. That is, one first change all secret keys from SK1 to SKQK into the semi-functional by a standard hybrid argument going through every keys based on the subgroup decision assumption and a statistical argument. Then, one makes the change of the challenger ciphertext in a one-by-one -one manner with the help of P3 subgroup. Also, in order to change each challenger ciphertext into semi-functional, one employs another standard hybrid argument over the one challenger ciphertext along with all secret keys. First, move the ciphertext to P3 subgroup. Then, perform a hybrid over all secret keys by subgroup decision assumption and a statistical argument to add entropy over P3 subgroup. Next, change the challenge ciphertext into semi-functional form. And perform a hybrid over all secret keys again to withdraw entropy over P3 subgroup. In this way, one finally changes all ciphertext into semi-functional form. This no longer requires an extra subgroup leading to a simple proof. Finally, we mention several open problems. In this work, we build MKDM Security HIBE and ADE over prime order groups. One problem is to build a MKDM secure IBE with tight security and a constant size master public key over prime order groups. Also, it will be interesting to build these schemas from other assumptions, such as learning with error assumptions. Besides, this work only focuses on MKDM security. A formal study of the relation of UKDM security and MKDM security 
is also appearing. Thank you for your attention.